Hi, Gene Sapikoff, the Charleston Post and Courier here at williams Bryce Stadium with David Kloniger, Post and Courier beat Ryder Supreme. David, we have just seen the Gamecocks beat a pathetic Florida team 28-20, to but they did win. They are 7-3. and They have clinched at least a tie for second place in the SEC East. David, what did we just see? Was that a good Gamecock team, a real good Gamecock team? Um, or are they just on top of a trash heap in the SEC East? Well, i, I got to <laughs> defer to the latter there, Gene. I mean, you give them credit because they have not succumbed to the awfulness that is the rest of the SEC East. But I just keep looking around, and, and I don't mean this as an insult, but how's this team 7-3? and three? I mean, with, with some of the ways that they've played and some of the ways that they've tried to close out games and it's just not doing. Uh, you saw it again today where they had a chance to go ahead and close out the game. They, they couldn't pick up a couple of third and short, fourth and short runs. They again went for a field goal that missed. They give up an inexcusable cheap touchdown, but they get the win. And they, they do let Florida hang around a little longer than expected, but they won the game. And I suppose, you know, you, you can't judge seven and three except for seven and three. So Gamecocks sit here, uh, you know, Georgia's still got to play Kentucky. Uh, which would break a tie there for second place. So they're in a good place where they could get to a really nice bowl game and finish an undisputed second place in the SEC. A lot of things to clean up, but they won the ball game. I think uh, the way they would explain how they got to 7-3 and three is with this so what, now what mentality that Coach Will Muschamp and the players that he preaches and that they've bought into from Dr. Kevin Elko, a noted sports psychologist and motivator. But... I think to really judge the progress of this team, David, uh, we're going to have to see like what kind of gap they can close against Clemson, how they do in a bowl game, and maybe even into next year because it has been so hard with Arkansas, Texas A&M, Tennessee, and Florida probably so bad that they're going to fire coaches that it's just hard to tell with some of these SEC games. Exactly, and give the guys credit because they were three and nine two years ago, and this Gamecock Absolutely. team has immeasurably improved. It's just you know you see them with a chance to to put their foot down on a throat and really lock down a win, and they don't do it. It's just one of those things that with Will Muschamp it kind of keeps popping up, and you know the guy's done a great job, a terrific job. I want to make that clear. He's done a great job with this team getting it back from where it was two years ago. But it's just one of those where every game's coming with a heart attack in it, you know? Yeah. And I'm sure that everybody would like to see it more comfortably, especially when it's there to be had. Florida had no business hanging around in this game as long yeah. as they had. The Gators are a pitiful football team. But USC just, they didn't play well in some spots. They played very good in others. They were great on third down. They got the running game going, but Jake Bentley throws three interceptions. They break down on one key play late and then give up basically a 63-yard touchdown. Uh, it's just one of those things where from week to week, you never really know what you're going to get out of the Gamecocks. All right, well, keep your seatbelts on because there's still a lot more to go with this team as we go on into the season. And uh, for David Kloniger, I'm Gene Sapikoff. Read all about it at postandcourier.com. We'll see you next week.